salutes our troops this holiday season. Hi, I'm Captain Melissa Danley, deployed to Kabul, Afghanistan. I wanted to say happy holidays to my mom, Dreama White, out in Villa Park, Illinois. Miss you, love you, and I hope to see you soon. My name is Staff Sergeant Gustavo Delgado. I'm with Mount 16 forward in Camp Bastion, Afghanistan. I want to send a shout out to my family and friends back in Chicago, Illinois. I wish you guys the happiest of holidays, and I'll see you guys soon. Go Bears! Thank you for your service and sacrifice. From Chicago's talk leader, 89 WLS. Chicago's talk leader, 89 WLS, on the air and on iHeartRadio. The latest news from the nation and across the globe is just minutes away with ABC News. 89 WLS and WLSAM.com. I learned how to love. I even learned how to lie. Why? You'd think I could learn to tell you goodbye. And you don't bring me flowers anymore. I, I, you cut him off. You cut off, you cut off, Liber, you cut off Liberace. I was starting to choke up. That's the point. That's the point where I just throw myself on the ground and 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 sob uncontrollably like a baby. Sometimes I do it when he's even not singing that. That's just the perfect New Year's Eve song. That's from the Jake Hartford songbook uh, chopped off collection, I think it's called. Uh, Tina and Homer Gwen. Good morning, Tina. Hi, Jake. Hey. You know, before the news break, you you were showing your just well. You, you talked about your disdain for what's going on. Yeah. And I was thinking, they have no limits on spending. We have no budget. We have no term limits. We have nothing. And a couple of years ago, I was down in Southern Illinois, and I was listening to a group of, of, of businessmen. They call themselves the Nine Twelvers, and they came up with a with a bumper sticker, and it was "Reelect No One." And I thought, gee, that, that really would solve the problem, but it would take a really long time for that to resolve itself. It wouldn't be one election. It wouldn't be two. It might take up to five elections to get them all out and start from scratch. And then I read the Tribune, and here they reappointed six judges that were not elected. They were unelected. Yeah, there's ways around things. And, 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 and I know I, I ca- I've been catching flack for my big bird. Uh, but yet, you can say, well, gee, that, what's $450 million compared to what the trouble we're in? Well, that's the problem. Every time, every time they do a program, they go, well, it's only this. It's not going to really hurt. It's not just Big Bird. I'm looking at Martha Stewart on there, a convicted felon. <laughs> on her cooking show, and she's pushing her book at the end of the program. How many millions do you think Martha's worth? And she's got to be supplemented on there. And whatever happened to the frugal gourmet? <laughs> I don't know. He wasn't very frugal at the end. But, you see, the problem is these government programs, they're, behind them there's always a good idea. And there's a good reason for them. And if you had unlimited dollars, I guess you can do all that stuff. But if you don't, you have to make some hard choices. And for me, cutting off Big Bird is not a hard choice. Are we the only two who recognize the fact that we're really in trouble? I mean, it's like of the the, the 400 plus politicians that are in the Congress and another 102 sitting in, in, in the Senate. Well, when you have when you have jails letting prisoners out because they don't have room or, or they don't have money to take care of them because they're, they're they're on the you know they need the federal dollars and those prisoners an hour after being released are committing crimes again. Well, you tell they have nowhere to go. Yeah, you know, well, they, they 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 get three hots in a cot. It, you know that, and then we talk about the you know the mental health not having money for that. I mean, there was a, another person got pushed in front of a train in New York yesterday. By somebody who appears to be crazy. Well, that's probably written off not as a murder, though. Well, it, it, you know, it's funny. New York has 414 murders, and, and they consider that really wonderful. I, that no, But yet, we've got the fi- 499, and it's like it's the end of the world. And you know what? It's an outrage, no matter if there's one 
or a thousand, and and we're going to worry about uh, the the gun issue is over the top. Yeah. These guys are not going to resolve the problem, and they will have to take it from my cold dead hands. To take I don't know how they can resolve the problem because when they resolved the problem and with the budget act of two thousand eleven, <laughs> they gave us this, and they're pointing fingers like it's somebody else's fault. They passed it. Are we? Are, where are we living? <laughs> I don't. I don't know. Uh, Oliver Stone says we're in our we're in a uh, Orwell type uh, situation right now. Well, God bless you, my dear. Take care, uh, Tina. Happy New Year. You too, <laughs> uh, Bill. Good morning. Yes. Uh, good morning, Jack. Uh, I was just wondering if uh, if you yourself and or or, or John uh, uh, coming up on Monday. Uh, I'm sure you know about this, this company in Melrose Park. This uh, uh, book company. Uh, Lake Book Manufacturing, been in business for 40 years. They're, they're a uh, you know, printing press operation. Lisa Madigan uh, uh, are, are going after them for operating uh, 10 printing presses that are capable, according to the state quote, uh, of emitting volatile organic materials. And they're, find, they're finding them you know, tens of thousands of dollars. And uh, you know, I, I'm just wondering, what, what's, what's the story on this? It, it's, it's, how, how many people are going to lose their job on this one? I haven't seen the story. I'll take a look at it. Uh, well, EPA and, and the different rules are, you know. They're, they're yeah, I just can't understand what kind of, you know, uh, volatile organic materials are used in bookmaking, you know. <laughs> maybe it's, some, maybe it's it's something, it could be something in the ink. I don't know. I'd have to take a look at it. It's crazy, yeah. Thank you, Bill. All right. All right. Thank you. Yeah, I don't, I don't know that story. I mean, there's... I mean, I saw the number of regulations they're putting into effect in, in Washington. It's like 4,000 a day or something like that. They're just, they're just churning them out. They're just right and left. <laughs> That's a very prolific group that writes all the new regulations. Uh, John in Plainfield. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Um, is this Jake? Yes, it is. Hi. Um, I had... Uh... Just two questions real quick. Uh, first of all, um, the gun issue uh, with, you know, trying to present this with all this that's going on, I'm wondering if they should probably try to look into the cause of, um, I have a, a grandson who has Asperger, and um, I was wondering if they should probably try to look into the cause of what's causing the Asperger. You know, and try to put the funding into that as opposed to trying to do something that, you know, is a, is a person's right, you know, to, to bear arms. I don't know what they're going to do. And, I, and in some instances, I don't know what they can do. Right. I really don't. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a very tough situation, and you can't, you can't solve it overnight, and you can't create an armed... Uh, Guard, you know, armed camp at a school, because you'd have to right. do the whole neighborhood. Oh yeah, and, you, and kids and kids will still get shot in Chicago and other places where there's violence. Right, right. Yeah, I just like I say, you know, they they this governor that we have, he's cutting funding on on the, like you say on the jails, uh, the you know the mental health thing. You know, it's I don't. Like, you know, you know, you know, John. I don't know how you increase money for mental health when you're cutting everywhere else. I don't right. know where. I don't know where you go. Right. You have to have priorities, and that's why Big Bird four hundred fifty million. There's a start. Absolutely. All right. Thank you, John. All right. You're welcome. I mean, put the money where you really need to help society. That's what we should do. Uh, anyway, we are done. It's the end of the show. Paul Bryan is standing by with uh, with Drive Chicago. It was a very fun spirited show. Try to stay out of the hospital emergency room this New Year's Eve. Don't fall on any on any toy fire trucks because you never know what'll happen. You know, I, I thought this being the last Saturday before uh, for New Year's for, of the year, and, and New Year's is coming up. We don't, we used to do a countdown show here on New Year's Eve, which we don't do anymore. So this is kind of it. So I, I thought I would do today something different to end the show. Uh, it's snowy out there. It's winter and and, and cold and. 
But, you know, what's what's better than a drive down Lakeshore Drive? And I even did it the other day when the, when the winds were 35 and the, and the lake was going over the drive. It was a great drive. Uh, a few years ago, uh, Eliota Haynes and Jeremiah came in the studio and told the story of Lakeshore Drive. And at, at the very end of the show, they allowed me to sing with them uh, Lakeshore Drive. And I thought I'd end the show today. See you Monday. Yes. Could you Here's t- t- take, us, take us out with Lakeshore Drive. There's a road I'd like to tell you about Lives in my hometown Lakeshore Drive, the road is called Gonna take you up or down From Rats on up to Riches Fifteen minutes and you can fly Pretty blue lights along the way To help you ride on by And the blue lights shining with a heavenly grace To help you ride on by Does my part come in here somewhere? Somewhere. You tell me where my part is. Tell me. You'll tell me when I get to be the Aliota Haynes, Jeremiah, and Jake part, okay? And there ain't no road just like it anywhere I found. Slipping on by with good old Jake. Saturday morning bound. Slipping on by with good old LS. Saturday morning bound. Somewhere in here I've got a part, right? Oh, just sing along. Somewhere. I, there's a part because, you know, we only got about 30 seconds and I just... It starts up north on Hollywood. The water on your driving side. The concrete mountains rearing up the channels just about five. Sometimes you can smell the green if your mind is feeling fine. There ain't no finer place to be than running late short drive. And there's no peace of mind or place you see than riding on Lake Shore Drive. Jake Hartford, AMWLS, Chicago.